Right? We have no greater responsibility as leaders in a democracy than preserving for future generations the importance of clearly differentiating between right and wrong. Uh, sometimes that means coming to terms with some of the darkest and most dehumanizing chapters in our history. Shockingly, more than 60 years ago, Washington, D.C.'s most prominent African-American cemetery was sold to be redeveloped. And there was an agreement made uh, that 37,000 graves were to be relocated to National Harmony Memorial Park, uh, just down the street from where I grew up in Landover, Prince George's County. Uh, this includes the remains of people like Elizabeth Keckley, a former slave who became the seamstress and trusted confidant of First Lady Mary Todd Lincoln, and Osborne Perry Anderson, the only African-American survivor of John Brown's raid on Harper's Ferry. Harry Clinton Lee was one of the first black police officers in Washington, D.C., and Sergeant Major Christian Fleetwood was the recipient of the Medal of Honor for his service during the Civil War. Mary Ann Shad Carey was America's first black female newspaper editor, and Philip Reed was a foundryman who assisted with the building of the Statue of Freedom, which sits on top of the U.S. Capitol. It's important that we remember each and every one of them. They are mothers and fathers and sons and daughters who were loved in life and mourned in death. Tragically, we learned that some of those 37,000 remains weren't relocated at all. And shamefully, uh, neither were the headstones and memorials meant to honor their memory. Instead, as was stated earlier, they were sold and discarded, and many of them ended up as riprap here along the banks of the Potomac River. It's a disgraceful and heartbreaking chapter in our history, and we owe it to every one of those 37,000 souls to do everything in our power to help reclaim their history, their legacy, to, to bring at least some measure of comfort to their loved ones and to restore their God-given right to eternal rest. As soon as we learned of the massive undertaking to recover these headstones, we offered uh, the team here in Virginia the full support of our entire Maryland team. Together with Virginia and DC, we entered into a, an agreement on this unprecedented effort uh, to return these historical artifacts to their rightful place. Today, we're taking a major step forward as we officially transfer the first 55 of these headstones uh, to the National Harmony Memorial Park. And we are activating members of the Maryland National Guard to join with the Virginia National Guard with a new mission to recover even more of these headstones from along the Potomac River. In the governor's mansion in Annapolis, uh, I'm, I'm proud of the wonderful portrait of Frederick Douglass, the renowned orator, author, statesman, and social reformer. Last year, we commissioned and installed a statue of Douglas in our historic state house. He was born on Maryland's eastern shore. Among the 37,000 graves relocated from Columbian Harmony Cemetery was a son of Frederick Douglass, who, who once said, we have to do with the past only as we can make it useful to the present and the future. My hope is that by bringing to light this egregious wrong and confronting it, that we can all work together to ensure that something like this can never, ever happen again. I want to again just thank Governor Northam uh, for his leadership in this effort. I want to thank every single person who's been a part of it, and I want to thank you all for being here today.